Do we have like a theme song or something? Yeah, hold on. Bop do bop da bop bop da boo da bop bop beep doom bop boom ka Welcome back to another episode of Couch Chronicles Volume Twenty. We are back and excited to be here. Sitting on the couch, developing the pouch. Like just from sitting and like not doing nothing. That's what a couch potato does. But the pouch part, are like a kangaroo. <laughs> No, like a little pouch. You know, oh, like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, pouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you ain't got a little pouch. Oh yeah, little I got pouch. a little yeah. sack. Yeah. yeah, my last pregnancy uh, <laughs> left me <laughs> left me a little deformed. <laughs> oh man! All right, first question, Ariana Miles. Hey y'all, laughing my ass off. I hate myself for that. Pouch. <laughs> 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 Postpartum uh, Laughing my ass off I hate myself for that Anyway I'm turning 21 tomorrow The 23rd And my mom Jesus can sense Christ. my excitement And I can sense her attitude About me being excited I've been drinking Since I got to college She doesn't know I just know it'll break her heart What did you guys parents What did you guys parents react to Finding out you drink Or did they feel some type of way When you turned 21 Much love Ariana Nah I mean Me and my mom drank wine together my dad gave me stuff, so they were they were open. My mom said, "You drink?" And I said, "Yeah." I said, that was in that conversation. <laughs> yeah, I kind of slid in there with ease. I was at a wedding when it happened, and you know they pouring up drinks for mm-hmm. everybody, and one of my uncles poured, "Get you a little drink." <laughs> so I got a little drink, and my mom saw me. She said, hey, "What's going on?" I was like, I, I just walked off. <laughs> That's funny. And ever time. since that, it was just like uh, you know yeah. that, that you know I drink around her sometimes. I don't even drink that much, but your, your mom. The last time I drink was at a wedding. I mean, my mom saw me was at my cousin's wedding. She like, you got to slow down. Like, all right, that's enough. What? We're at a wedding. Like, this is the time <laughs> to you got to slow down. And so Ariana, you got to remember, even though your mom is your parent, she's still a woman, as you are. Uh, so she's gonna have some emotional ups and downs. It's all right, you know. She's just gonna deal with it. You turn twenty one, you grown. Right. You can drink. Grown. Uh, it's Shadana Marie to you. Hey, DT family, just want to say keep up the good work. Y'all are sup, sup. all like my big brothers, and I can talk to y'all about anything, even with my boo cam. That's incest, Shadana. Mm. Uh, I know you guys. That's do. what you went to, <laughs> girl. You trying to you trying to get some of that? You cousin can't say loving. my boo cam. That's my brother. She no. trying to get some of that cousin that cousin, loving. That cousin loving. <laughs> Who this? Um, uh, Shadana Marie to you. Your sister, apparently. Yeah, so I guess your sister. To, that's your. That's yeah, also I your boo. Call my dad. Call my dad. I know you guys do parodies with songs sometimes. But yesterday, I was listening to Busted and Contagious. By the Isley Brothers, and I automatically thought to myself, I know they make this shit hella funny if they were to ever do a skit. Anyways, my question this week is, will y'all ever consider doing a story time about y'all first time having sex or getting head? You guys have a wonderful week. Stay safe and blessed. I'm sure we got plenty. Uh, I would, but it'll be a short video. Yeah, no, yeah. First time I had sex is going to be a short video. (laughs) It's definitely going to be a short short video. It's going to be a funny story leading up to maybe, but it's going to be a short video. This will happen. It happened. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 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 saying I'm itself. saying this with the most sensitivity to anybody who has, you know, dealt with any type of violence in their life. But my first time I was definitely taken advantage of, for sure. By an older woman? Yeah, she was she was probably like eighteen. Nine, she was like nineteen. And I, you I were... was six I was sixteen. I was, Mine was two years old. No, no, oh, no. Talking fans because like I was, I didn't want to do it at the time. And yes, that is it, actually, I guess, you, illegal. This, is it? Yeah, yeah. 1916. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was this fat you? No. Right, that's why she did. Because if you like, <laughs> if you like 18, you can't date a 17 year old. It's like you shouldn't, but but what if you were in, in high North school Carolina? together? You know what I'm saying? I can't. I can't. I can't remember. Which is about the age of consent. Yeah, it is about the age of consent in that state. Yeah, story. I just don't know, you know, I, that's weird. Morally, it, felt, it was wrong. And Yeah, yeah. It, but it felt good to be taking advantage. <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's I'm sure. No, part. it's a different situation. That's yeah. the bad part, right. but yeah. Um, I mean, when I was when I was 19, I was messing with, but see, I was 19, though. Uh, she was 28. Oh, yeah, you was 19. But I was 19, it don't matter. Yeah. yeah it it, don't matter. What's wild is, that's like, sick. 
It's, it's like a <laughs> girl taking can be, advantage just because I turned 19. <laughs> but honestly, if you think about she it, she could take advantage you of you. If you think of it like this, she may have been doing you more of a favor because if you're 19, you may not be that experienced. So she was taking a risk. You sound like all those other motherfuckers <laughs> saying it's <laughs> your fault. Nah, Cam. I can't believe you right now. <laughs> you're she was you're putting risk. the blame on me. <laughs> <laughs> when you're trying to speak out. <laughs> I'm trying, I was molested. <laughs> and you're over here saying, and, well, maybe she did you a favor. <laughs> so, by you being molested, you went in there, you took off your clothes, you put on a condom, you put it in there, you yeah. slapped her ass, you pulled it. Bro, ass. I hit that joint so hard. But, but, and then still, you went back again. It doesn't make it right. It you doesn't make it right. Again. Several times I went back <laughs> at my own will as well. But it doesn't make it doesn't right. It doesn't make it right. <laughs> you are of age, sir. Uh, Black Tony Stark. Okay, guys, I got a serious question. As you can see from my name that I'm in the comic book streets, diehard Dude. Marvel fan. Me and my little cousin who is Batman, me and my little cousin who is Batman Uh-oh, all day, know this is going. have had many heated discussions on Iron Man versus Batman. Uh-oh, I told Batman. if Batman get locked out of the Batcave and Alfred phone dead, he useless, while my boy Tony out here straight MacGyvering it up with random items from Home Depot. Who y'all got? Well, y'all know my answer. I'm not even going that. But well, it depends on who's who 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 has more money. That's who wins. Now that's a question I I don't know. They both my human. Thing, my issue is with people that say Superman. I mean Batman ain't got no powers. Iron Man don't either. He don't. Listen, and but, so that argument you gotta hate both of them. This is by this this is most people's logic. Iron Man has that suit that'll just wipe out Batman. Yeah. They don't think that Batman would have had Iron Man poisoned mm-hmm. five days before the fight even, even happens. So by the time he starts to fight, his his, but, uh, but that's like his little said, chest thing fucks that's up. That's like you said, just in case, but if he get locked out of the Batcave, he, he might be stuck for a little while. He's a billionaire. <laughs> he don't need the Batcave. He can go on a boat and have the same thing in two days. Like here's I, the thing. Two days, here's he can have thing. another Batcave built. Batman can't adapt. That's his greatest power. Like, did y'all see Batman versus Superman? This nigga built a suit that could withstand the blows from I mean, Superman. Superman. So, so you think can... any blow that Iron Man can give him, he can't build a suit for? If you can build a suit against Superman, Man, you could do yeah. anything. I mean, chameleons can adapt too. Man, nobody's scared of them. You ain't gotta be scared. It ain't about being scared. You go fight Mike Tyson. If you ain't scared, that don't mean you gonna win. I bet That's you, chameleonaire true. will whoop your ass. No, no, I mean, chameleonaire. The artist, yeah, yeah, chameleonaire, nigga. He's a chameleon. <laughs> Uh, oh, Batman slander here. That, that shit. I love that page. It's a great Twitter. But sometimes page. when I stand up for Batman, I feel kind of bad because it makes me feel like I'm a Republican or some shit. You, you know are, what I'm saying? You like, are. He, I'm Both of y'all up are. For this rich white man. Rich white man. With I mean, that you white, are too. That standing white up privilege. for Tony Stark. No, nah, he black. This, he's he, he gave <laughs> guns to the military. For, he did. It's a block of fucking money. I guess I'm we all we all Republican. We all fucking in here doing. See, this is how we brainwash. <laughs> we all brainwash. We all fuck. And it's all your fault, Black Tony Star, uh, for asking roll, that question. Roll a pedophile. He like Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> he like little boys in leotards. <laughs> Shoot little webs. That sexy ass red and blue uh, suit. Like coming webs. Uh, That's what he like. Oh man. <laughs> That's your favorite. That's suit right. Batman and Kim Possible got the same powers. Man, Rob, listen, I'm riding Static Shock. <laughs> static Shock is the, so that's for the that rest logic, of the year. You don't like Iron Man. I love Iron no, Man. You can't. Much you better. can't. He's just you better can't. all around. Yeah, how do you, you not can't. like Iron Man? You can't. Yeah, that don't make sense. Because your whole logic is he don't have powers. I just powers. think his, his suit's better. I think he, he can fly. He can do all this. It's just, it's just better. Batman, Batman can, can fly, fly too yeah, if he wants. He can really fly if he wants, but he don't. He glide. He glide. He got plane. He can fly. He can glide. He got jet. And I'm not talking about with jet. I'm just talking about him. He's just, Batman's just so regular. Take off the suit. They fight with nothing. Batman wins. You think you think you think Michael Jordan's regular? <laughs> huh? As a human? No, 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 don't say what. <laughs> Tony Stark and uh, Bruce Wayne are human. So yeah. you think you think uh uh Michael Jordan's regular? No, not on the court, no. Alright, so don't say no more shit because you already know where it is going. How can you think Bruce Wayne and Tony Stark are regular? They no, do they're, they're amazing regular. things. This Batman just, it's just, uh, he's just whatever. To Outside be. the suit, Tony can't do nothing. You don't, you don't have but good I'm, points. Batman will whoop. No, Batman, no, um, Bruce pull, Wayne will whoop Tony ass outside of suit. They, they put everything aside. That. All that. You know, he a ass. ninja. I, I don't know. <laughs> he a ninja. He a yeah. white ninja. <laughs> he a white ninja. God damn it. Nigga he a white ninja. Don't play ninja. He watched the movie. He gonna be there every. He a white ninja. Look, even can't write about that. I'm gonna be there. Even the Batman movie's better than Iron Man. I get that. I get it. I'm not even arguing with that. I'll get that one. That's a, it's always an argument. No, it's, it's not an argument. argument. 
It's a, but You're this, always gonna lose the argument. You haven't no. brought up one good point yet. <laughs> I have. No, you have. His it. superpower is white privilege. That's it. It no, does. Then, then what is Tony? I didn't, I didn't say he did. Was it? But, but he uses it to 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 help. <laughs> He hasn't brought up one And then this nigga Bruce Wayne, tough. everybody's against him because he over there taking all the shit from the community. All right, all right just real quick, real quick. Yeah. This is a part, since we're talking Batman, yeah, I don't yeah. know if anybody asked this question, but did y'all hear that, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Michael uh, Keaton is coming back as Batman? Who's going to direct that? Wait, yeah. He's going to be in whatever the Flash movie is. The Flash, you know, that was in the thing. He there's like a whole there's a comic book series where they go to different he goes to different universes he fucks up the timeline and mm-hmm. changes he goes to see different Batman different different uh, versions of each characters in different universes and stuff so or timeline or whatever so uh, they they they're trying they say he's in talks right now to sign up to come back as Batman that will be fucking that was great. one of my favorite that's Batman yeah. movies. That, that's like the one that got. Us kids yeah. into Batman. So, you know what I'm saying? What what about the other Batman project? Shut the fuck up. We're not talking about that no more. You, we talking about just, Batman. That's what I'm talking about. The other Batman oh, project. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Don't, other, let, don't let Ron fool Batman y'all. Project. He gonna be there for every single movie. He gonna be there for oh, every oh, yeah. trailer. I'm be, I'm be Cause right he there. loved Batman, but he gone too far to really back now. He can't go. Oh no, no, I didn't. I didn't really. I didn't really, really back. Back. I didn't really back. He, he went too far in his hate. He can't. What was the last thing you said? The other Batman. The with the with what's the name? Robert. I guess. That's still coming. That's still coming. You gotta wait but I guess the, the, we can film I again. Know. I don't oh, know okay. if it's all going to connect. Gotcha. The okay. Flash movies might be separate from that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rob, I just want to know if Cam knows he sounds like Sean and Marlon from White Chicks when he laughs. That's funny. <laughs> also, no, someone said I sound like um, Joker. Joker. <laughs> yeah. yeah I also, that. if you had to choose between having life all together immediately or living through the life lessons, which, which would you choose? Repeat that one more time. If you had to choose between having life all together immediately or living through the life lessons, which would you choose? Well, as of going through a lot of life lessons already, let me take the immediate. Yeah, yeah, let me I've take learned that. some shit. Now. <laughs> yeah. I've been through but some well, lessons. I, I, I'm still not comprehending. What <laughs> it said, would you rather just have it right now, all together, life, or go through the journey of life to get but what to is all life together? All together, like right? this you ideal know. life, like, whatever ideal your life. ideal life yeah. is. Oh, like, you just you had to go through no together. struggles. And you just... Oh, so just be like, like okay, okay, just be well off. And yeah, would you have it now or go? Th- yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been through. Yeah, so you know, just that's what we've been working this whole grind for. You know, it'd be nice to to have it now. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Cuddy, what's goody, bros and Patreon fam? Hope all is well. Happy summer. My question this week is: If you had to pick a movie or movie character that relates or reflects each member of DT character slash personality, why why would it be? Or who, I think it might have been who would it be? P.S. I'm starting my road to fitness tomorrow by going on a walk and using Chaz's fitness page. I'll nice. be sure to give y'all updates. Like always, stay positive and good vibes. Cowboys Nation all day. <sighs> Real lost, nigga. You lost me with that last <laughs> Real <laughs> nigga. All right. uh, like a movie character. That uh, we would all. Just ran in any movie, I guess. Um, Right well, now, we all in the pursuit of happiness movie. <laughs> <laughs> That no, nah, that's a great answer to sum that whole thing up. That's a phenomenal answer. I can't. We gonna move. No, on. no, 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 no. We gotta answer that. Because that shit you, is funny. Like, what can you just see each one of each us? Car- in? I, uh, I'm trying to think. Of, but so many movies. Like, well, since shit, since I used to be fat, give me a, uh, give me um turtle. Nah, what's yeah, oh, easily the turtle or uh, what's the name from, from Super Bad? Oh, uh, 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 Seth. Seth. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, Jonah. Evan. Yeah. Was it Evan? Was he Evan? Or Seth? He was Seth. He was Jonah Seth. Hill's character, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give me fat Seth. I don't know. It's, t- it's just so many movies to, to pick from. I mean, based on my stories, I've been putting out lately with y'all the uh, I, I, the Big Lebowski. Oh, the Big probably. <laughs> or Pineapple Express. Give me, give me, give me that. But give me, yeah, or Pineapple <laughs> Give me the black version of that. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll kill that. Chaz can be, me, Chaz uh, can be Shaft. Whoever owns that. Oh, yeah. Chaz would definitely be Shaft. I can see <laughs> your, that. Your movie would be the big Leroy. The big... <laughs> <laughs> the big Leroy. That's it, pal. The big Leroy. The big Leroy. Oh, All right. shit. Um, available pudding. Hey, guys. I hope no. you're having a good week so far. Nice choices to the food challenge. They all sound really good. Simple yet tasty. Can't go wrong with the lentil soup, a platter of sides, and a pasta dish. Mm-hmm. But do not play with me. 
If I wasn't here in Baltimore, I'd cook for y'all tomorrow. Hey. So maybe in the near future. Rome, if you can recall, I complimented your mushroom sandwich on IG story and asked if you've ever cooked it with balsamic glaze. Yes, I do remember that. To answer your question, thankfully, God has given me the gift to cook and bake. So my go-to specialty is brunch. Oh, mm. yeah. Mm-mm-mm. But based on your diet and restriction, it covers all meals. You can have scrambled eggs, banana pudding, seafood, biscuits, and gravy, mm-hmm. a pork chop, hash browns, and a mimosa all at noon, and no one would bat an eye because it's brunch. Mm-mm-mm. What food have you tried and don't like but everyone else does? And have you tried it recently to see if you would now? Every once in a while, I'll try something that's mint chocolate, and that shit is still disgusting. Mm-hmm. Please don't let me ask another food question next time. I can talk about it all day. Hey, listen, ain't nothing wrong talking about food. Tea. That's great. Yeah, Cam's tea. tea. I'm not a mint chocolate fan either, and I love chocolate. That's, chocolate. Yeah, so I'm not a mint chocolate fan. Okay. What's something that everybody else likes? I mean, man, we said it before, mayonnaise. Like, I fuck, yeah, I, mayonnaise. I tea with, and mayonnaise. I fuck with mayonnaise. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a monolith. Oh, with the man yeah. yeah. <laughs> You a manolith? <laughs> I've never been a picky eater, so I don't know. This you don't like pork chops? A lot of okay, you, like yeah, that's you like true, pork chops? That's true. I was pork never a big slap. on pork chops. Maybe I had a couple bad experiences, <laughs> but... That shit is called a pork chop. Yeah, <laughs> and that shit is... And that shit used to slap. My mom, when she used to make them pork chops, but my aunt, my aunt, we used to drive out for that. For the chop. It's like this weird taste to me between like either I'm trying to have a steak or I'm trying to eat chicken. And you get this pork chop that's just like I don't know. That's it's, funny. That's what like lamb and goat tastes like to me. Which I it's one of them. I like goat. Yeah, lamb goat is a is weird fire. Lamb get, is a yeah, weird lamb, taste. Lamb does so when you say that, taste. I'm like that's I what I lamb. picture you're saying. And then yeah, I get yeah, it. I can see that. Yeah. Lamb got that it's, weird it's, taste. It's, it's, it has a similar feel to me. Lamb and uh pork chop. Quarantine graduate. How's it going, goats? I hope y'all mental and Yo. physical health is in a good space. Before my question, I wanted to make sure y'all aware of a dope project out from a group named Salt, S-A-U-L-T, or Salt, called Untitled Black Is You Won't Regret to Listen. Hmm. Now on to my question. I have a movie I have a movie premise in the preliminary stage, and I wanted to see would it be of interest to y'all to be a part of once I graduate film school. A black man traces his lineage through a DNA test and decides to travel to his origins along with his best friend to learn what black people were like before slavery in hopes of empowering himself and others in America to combat oppression and the devaluing of black lives. I think it has potential, but what are your thoughts? I don't like it. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm fucking cool. with it. Yeah, I'm fucking yeah. with it. That sounds cool. That sounds that, that sounds cool. And is Salt uh, uh, their it, band? Or it's something? a, uh, yeah, I'm okay, thinking. I, I just see it on YouTube. Untitled Black is. Um, but no, that's a good premise. Like, you keep working on I thought you were about to go into, like, some science, like, yeah, fiction yeah, yeah. fiction thing. But yeah, no. That, be because how you going back? Yeah, yeah. That could be cool. Uh, Brax215. What up, DT? This week I got a long statement slash question. So last week I asked my girl about. I asked about my girl and what I should get for a ring. Your advice was on point, and I figured out my range. Then unexpectedly, my ain't shit dad got the system and gave me 500 He hasn't done shit or given me anything since I was like 13 or so. But then I saw Roman Cam on Eat the Menu with Keith, and I told my girl what happened and that I asked about her. She immediately stopped the video and searched for the question and your response. Funniest shit I laughed about all week. But my questions are this... Uh, my questions are, is this why... My questions are, this why do girls get upset or intrigued when they heard someone ask a question about them? Like, my question last week was chill, but she still got a little mad. I could understand if I was talking shit, but I know I came off respectful and loving. Also, every week, I'm going to give y'all a versus between action hero and let you decide who wins. It could be a no holds barred death match. Last week was John Wick versus Denzel. This week, we got Jet Li versus Jackie Chan. Mm. Anything goes. Be safe, guys, and sorry for the long-ass message. Uh, well, first, uh, why do girls get upset or intrigued when they heard someone asked about a question about them? We told y'all they aliens. We we, <laughs> we, we, we just we told y'all already. <laughs> aliens don't know how to communicate with us correctly, so when they hear something, they don't they don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. But women are very intuitive. I can say that they just they're very in tune with themselves. <laughs> yeah, you gotta speak that Klingon. That, that Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> God, when you did that alien shit, if rap ended today, that, that shit is so funny. You, what? We, and, we, rap. Li- who you heard from an alien? He said, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> "We're still trying to translate." Uh, but Jet Li versus Jackie Chan. 
I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know. That's on, tough. And then are we ta- are we I want to lean like towards they, Jackie, but I don't know. I would take Jackie Chan in real life. I'll put it that way. Okay. I think he's just one of the greatest okay. yeah. movies ever. Yeah. But now if you give them their powers from the movies, Jet Li played a movie called The One. When mm-hmm. he had like these superpowers, I feel like he, he also played in Romeo Must Die. Oh, he yeah. also played in Romeo Must Die, <laughs> where he knew a nigga named DMX <laughs> that you would not want to. You would not want to fuck with Jackie <laughs> Chan or Jet Li. No, none of them niggas would fuck with. So just you know, just want to hit with a crack fist. <laughs> You don't know how that shit feels. <laughs> what a crack fist. <laughs> yeah, Cocaine. Crack fist. I'm a little man. I would lean towards Jackie, but I don't know, man. Jet Lee ain't no hope. Yeah, no, he definitely not. I oh, know he ain't no hope. He ain't no hope. I love the movie Hero. You ever seen that? Mm-hmm. Beautifully shot. Seen all Amazing these movie. Uh, but still, Jackie Chan, man, he just next level to me. Uh, and he gonna make you laugh. And and yeah. Jet Lee, Jet Lee, um, leaned on a lot of. Special effects. Mm, okay. Jackie Chan it was always practical. Would you say yeah. that to his face? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, you want to see the effects? So let's go right now. Oh, God. I would kick gently in his balls. <laughs> Let me tell you, his little that'd short take, ass. That'll take down any man. That'll that take down any man. Oh, that shit. Uh, except The Rock. He got the balls of steel. Yeah, and then I couldn't reach up there. <laughs> uh, got to jump to kick his balls. I mean, he has small ass <laughs> balls. That's why I can't reach. <laughs> I bet you won't say this face. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> so, imagine how big he would be sitting in here with us on this podcast. Uh, you know, uh, uh, just, uh, he would be huge if your in here. You want to go for the president? In prison, you just sitting on your bunk, and he walk in as your bunk mate. <laughs> you gonna be fucking terrible. You know, I'm just all about positivity. Really, just pushing it. Just <laughs> really just positivity pushing it. and attitude. And what the fuck did you just call me? <laughs> Uh, Destiny Hola guys I had a question Monday morning That I usually come up with While working out in the morning By now I've completely forgotten Whatever productive And insightful question that was So I'll just ask Okay Who is your favorite Mortal Kombat character Mm. I've been obsessed with MK11 lately Watch it And the whole storyline Anyway Have a blessed week guys Somebody told me to watch that storyline I need to go watch it They said it's crazy Yeah I heard it's really One of my favorites is Kung Lao Okay Uh, I really like the hat And all that shit I think he he was cool I still classic just, Scorpion. I love. I'm Sub Zero. Just like I don't yeah. know something about that. that I fuck with the Sub Zero. And he has the great. I remember when I was a kid watching. I think there was an animated version mm-hmm. of. Uh, on, it used to come on like Saturday cartoons about, yeah. or something. And uh, he had a storyline that was amazing. Mm. Sub Zero. Yeah, for me Scorpion first, then Raiden. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. I like Raiden. Okay, him too. Uh, Joshua Solomon. Hey DT, new Patreon here. Here it goes. So Welcome. I, so I'm a twenty. So I'm a twenty two. So I'm a twenty two. I think yeah. So I'm twenty two, and I got out of a long term relationship about a year ago. I'm ready to start dating again, but I've lost all my game. Any advice for dating in twenty twenty for an introvert like myself? Available. Putin commented under and said, "Don't know if this is an open question. Feel free to tell me to mind my business. I'm introverted as well, and was a late bloomer with dating." I had no idea what I was doing at 22, which was when I started dating. So at 24, I went on a lot of practice first dates, went on Tinder, agreed to go out, but I knew that it wouldn't lead to anything. It made me more comfortable with hanging out with guys without any expectations. But also, let me see what I liked and didn't like, and if need be, self re- self reflection. I wouldn't do this if you are ready for marriage, though. Hmm. It's not. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, get out there and date. Uh, any advice uh, for introvert? Yeah, I mean, you gotta get out there. Huh? You got you. Yeah, because it's the only way you gonna. Because well, what, what, what would be your move? What is get out there? Mean it's just so you? tough because I'm not an introvert. You know, okay. so it's hard I mean, for me. Like how you say, you can but go, what do you do as a? Oh my bad. Go ahead. I gonna say go on these apps. That's the easiest way. Because if he's an introvert, then he's not gonna approach a girl in, life, yeah. in real life, possibly. So to go through online. Then set a date. It's like if you're trying to learn how to ice skate, the only way to learn is to get yeah. on ice. So yeah, I, I guess the online would help because you're going you're gonna to build a little bit of comfort maybe with talking back and forth with the person. Yeah. So it might it might be a little bit better than just, I guess, in like going to a bar or restaurant. Well, you know, it's COVID right now. But. I was going to say, like, I you know, I, I just, I'm not big, you know, I don't know the online tactics as much, but yeah. the – Real life ones I know, and none of that's going on right now. I don't think. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Nah, so nah, I, I mean, it's going on, but people. <laughs> I mean, people I guess are it's definitely going, going on. Now. That's why yeah. the cases are rising. Yeah, well then, you know, yeah, get out there, buy somebody a drink, just say, hey, what's up, <laughs> at a bar. You know? And if they don't reply, just say, oh, good. 
Yeah, all right, peace. Come on. <laughs> Schoolboy Q, hey DT crew, I hope your day is going well today. My brother and I started investing more seriously, and I wanted to ask if there was a Boss Talk episode on investing, and if you have a good educator, I could look up and follow who all could recommend. Who you all could recommend for beginner investors? Thank you, and remember to stay moisturized. Um, that's a good boss. I will probably come in the near I think future. We did. I don't like, know if we did investment. Money, I don't know if we did investing, yeah. but now that you say it, we need to. But yeah. if you're talking, it depends what you're investing in. It's so much you can do crypto, you can mm-hmm. do stocks, you can do gold, you can do real estate. Mm-hmm. But a good place to to start if you just want to start like this, getting information. Follow Earn Your Leisure podcast. Yeah. And watch their YouTube videos. They interview people in all these spaces mm-hmm. I named. And if you want to do stocks, every Monday they have a um, Market Monday where they go live with Ian Dunlap, which he's like a stock expert. And what and is he Mar- saying lately? What? Is it, it's all going it's to hell? So mu- no, they oh, okay. making money. Yeah. Like crazy. And the other- this is the best time when yeah. you're down like this. Well, it's coming up, but I mean, these are the best times. So. The other uh, thing, uh, there's an IG page. Uh, is. Chris Johnson, I believe it is. Yeah, is his name Chris, Chris Johnson. Johnson. He 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 has a lot of investing tips and where to put your money and stuff like that. So you can check check that out. The He's, thing is, right now, e courses <clears throat> are big. Like you just find someone who's done it, who's good at it, and buy their e course. Like a lot of people are scared to invest in their education, but do it. It's better. Like we spend thousands of dollars on classes in college. You can't spend forty on an e course. Yeah. Why are you That's scared? Stop being scared. Robert Lumpkins. <laughs> What's good, fellas? Question for Cam. How's the experience banking with One United? Um, For me, it's not my main bank, so I don't really have – I use it – it used to, It started out just a savings account where I was just saving money, so limited to no interaction. But now I just switched it to my bills. So now all I use it for is my bills just come out of it automatically, so I ain't got to worry about it coming out of my main account. So as of right now, it's cool. I mean, it's the biggest black bank. That's why I decided to go with them. Yeah. But – it's been seamless for me, but Rome recently went into a branch, which I have never done. And yeah. if he want to tell that, he could tell that. So. Um, I just want to say that <laughs> I went into the. <laughs> I just recently started banking with them too. Kind of did the uh, same thing as Cam was doing for my bills and stuff. And I was like, let me go down to the branch because I had to get some money out. I just want to say I love um, my black people. Yeah, that's smooth. I love my black people. Okay, I've been with them for two years, yeah, but yeah. I never, as I said, it's not my main bank account. Yeah, so. yeah. Online like, is great. I just used it online strictly, and online has been perfectly fine. <laughs> online has been wonderful. I, you know, I had to go into the branch, and you, you know, you know, you know, yeah, you know. Somebody said, we got pork chops. Uh, <laughs> but what I told Rome, the more people, the more we, you know, support them, yeah, the better that's they a good thing. become. Yeah, but, you that's know. a good thing. And question for the group, we all out here trying to buy black. How do we get more of our business up to a decent level of customer service? I can't do any more with I can't do any more with our weights because Ray Ray called in sick. Do we invest enough for them to upgrade or do we just support folks who can run their business effectively? That's funny. That was the next question, because that's probably going to help the the in-person branches with, you know, with that certain bank. What? Um, it's just saying like, should we do we invest enough for them to upgrade or do you know? But we just got like, can't say we got to keep supporting. Yeah, like I that's mean, the here's the thing: yeah. the more you support, the better it becomes. Yeah. Because a lot of people, a lot of black people, especially now, are starting a business for the first time ever. Yeah. So they're not natural business people or had the knowledge or had a mentor to teach them. So they learning on on the go. So the but the more we support, the better all the customer service it gets. So yep. we just got to keep doing it. Yeah. Lee Manning. And we need money. From uh, outside, uh, yeah. I mean, from governmental sources to yeah. invest mm-hmm. in us so we can upgrade everything as well. We don't mm-hmm. have billionaires putting money into this that they could just can't have waste. equality without equity. Exactly. Hey, DT fam, I want to start by saying I've been a fan for a long time since 2011. Appreciate that, Lili. One of my former students turned me on to you guys, and I've been hooked since. I am really proud of how Thank far you. you guys have come. I love seeing black men do their thing. Here's my question. Rome is my celebrity crush. I think it's the dark skin and the deep voice. Do you guys have a celebrity crush? If so, who? And thank you, Lili. I am Zoe proud Kravitz. of my dark skin. Zoe Kravitz. You said Zoe Kravitz? Holly Berry and Zoe Kravitz. Uh, celebrity crush. I don't know if I have one right now. No. Uh, not, a, not a, off the top of my head. I do think Zoe's fine as fuck. And you know what? 
her acting's getting better. I watched her whole show on um, what is it Hulu Infidelity? Oh, Infidelity was good. What is it? That's what it's called. Or uh, no. I, I, it, Zoe Zaldana. This nigga, this nigga. No, Zoe Kravitz. Oh, Zoe Kravitz. Kravitz. Whatever her show she got on Hulu, I went. Yeah. On, I was watching it one day. I like, all right, let me just chill and watch something. This was two months ago. I watched it. I'm like, oh, this shit's actually good. Well, she's yeah, actually just good writing, and she was acting. I'm like, all right. I don't know her name, but I really like the way she looked in um, the movie. What was, what was Lena's movie? Uh, Queen of Slim. Yeah, I don't know the actress's name. I just like her skin. Jody. I that was that, that name? Something. Yeah, yeah. She 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 looked nice to me, but I think it was Yeah. I don't really have a crush crush right now. Now I think about it. Um, uh Safia. Uh hey guys, new Patreon member and first time question asker on here. L O L. So Emmanuel, are you Ethiopian? You guys <laughs> <laughs> Are you Ethiopian dog? Uh, <laughs> You find that offensive that you would like. Uh, <laughs> I, you, you guys mentioned no, that's that. There we go. That's my crush. Any Ethiopian woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That in Jared, boy. That's a special uh, place. Man. Stay away from my family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I be fucking family. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys mentioned Ethiopian food a few times. I'm guessing y'all like it. LOL. No, no. We love it around love here. It. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yes, I am Ethiopian. My no. mom is Ethiopian. My dad is from the Virgin Islands, St. Croix to be exact. And I was born in Washington, D.C. I went to school that. in Alexandria, Virginia. I lived in PG County, Maryland. And that's why I'm a motherfucking king of mutts. <laughs> that's yeah, I'm, just, I'm just Ethiopian adjacent. Yeah, you just my you little just, brother. <laughs> I'm just I'm just feeding off the culture. <laughs> I just like eating Ethiopia. <laughs> um, would you guys consider yourselves more of a talker or more of a listener? I was always more of a talker, but in the past few years, I've been trying to master the art of listening. Being a good, active listener is a skill. Also, what's the second thing you notice in a girl? Because of course, y'all will agree that the first thing is ass. Absolutely obvious, huh? <laughs> and you could choose between getting free groceries for the rest of your life, free gas for the rest of your life, or free airplane tickets for the rest of your life. Which would you choose? Whew. All right, so first thing, let's start with the first. Yeah. Would you consider yourself more of a talker or more of a listener? Listener. Yeah, over the years, yeah, more of a listener. I know that doesn't sound like it quite much on here. I mean, yeah, we got to talk. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I, but when I'm in a private yeah. setting, I like to just listen to people. And right? you got to know, like she said, li- being an active listener, because there's people who listen just to speak. You know, yeah, and so that, oh, that don't do nothing. people that listen just to speak? They, they listen just to just have to a get the, just, uh, just to rebuttal. Get that. So yeah, they're not yeah. really taking in right, what right. you're saying. They're not, they're yeah. waiting like, yeah, yeah, or are you done, you done, you done. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, yeah, the Biggest listening. thing in a conversation nowadays that can help people to understand is the thing that makes you wise, at least in my opinion, is uh, perspective. Yep. So understanding of somebody else's shoes or something else's shoes. Don't mean you have to agree with it. It don't mean you have to yeah. agree. I mean, yeah. You, you can know, understand it. <laughs> just just having an understanding of that person, that thing more, whatever it is. And that makes you wiser. Yeah. You have a broader scope of how people feel about things. Because there's talking and there's communicating. And some niggas just be talking. <laughs> some niggas just be talking. <laughs> and then uh, what's, a, what's the second thing you notice in the girl? First off... I'm not necessarily noticing ass first, but if she got an ass, no, it I'm depends going. on how you see her. It depends on how, yeah, it depends on how you see her. The first time you see her is from behind. Yeah, and that's different. Yeah. You don't see that behind. It's yeah, all it about different. what's turned towards you. Of course, I'm going looks first, for, for sure. Like, cause that's what I'm looking at. I mean, I'm, you can't see a personality. <laughs> maybe you can. But. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, if I if I see an ass, my first thing is what her face looks like. Yeah, and just, then if I see her face, I'm thinking what, what ass. ass yeah, yeah. Like. It, so it's just, <laughs> it's just it's a fucking conundrum. It's, it's, and if you see her from the side, you be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you be like, what what, what the front other, look like? What the other side look what like? What the other side look like? <laughs> <laughs> the other side look like? <laughs> and last, if you could choose between it's identical, if, if you could choose between getting free groceries the rest of your life, free gas the rest of your life, or free airplane tickets for the rest of your life. Which would you choose? Airplane. Yeah, I'm at to go airplane. I, I, th- I thought about I'm airplane. Because I can get the groceries. I can get the groceries and get yeah, yeah. airplane. Yeah. Be gone. Yeah. Everywhere. Absolutely. Macho Madness 92. What up, guys? Hope your week went well. My question this week is which skit slash video <laughs> would you say took the longest and most effort to make? And which album would you say took the longest and most effort to make? Uh, well, one off the top of my head, skit was the uh, the Halloween series, the zombie one. 
that one took, that took that one some took, time. That took some time. That took some and time. And then second sure. thing that popped in my head was uh, Mike's episode of the six. The, the trapped under the bed. Yeah, we we was up. We that that was a oh, while. Oh, you just talk. You talking in terms of just like hours, time, like time. time yeah. In. Okay. Yeah, yeah like right. that. I mean, I thought internet it, took a lot too. Yeah, yeah. Ass on internet. Yeah. Ass on the internet took a while. Uh, when we did uh, uh, body roll, kind of took a little, yeah. a, a mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a few. Yeah, there was some. When did we do the Soldier Boy Museum? Uh, that was in the old house. So, but that was like, like a, 2015. But what was that a part of? Black Geo? That was Black Geo. But that was before that was before uh Kevin Hart. That was we right, did, right, we did right, that. Right, right, so right. That yeah, that took was, long? Okay. Or well, maybe maybe it did. I mean, um, I'm you know what else I'm thinking I'm talking like I'm thinking about pre-production as oh, well, okay. like setting up the museum, gotcha, like gotcha. clearing out spaces okay. for that and, yeah. and you know. That's the fun part. Honestly. And then, which album would you say took the longest, most ever? Well, out of the two, I don't think none of them took really F. Like, I mean, effort, of course, of making the music, but we we do music pretty. It, it's not too crazy. We do it effortlessly. Now, you know, Tropical Storm, they they real artists, so they take their time with they. That's why they come between two to three years with their albums. They like to they artists. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if Dormtainment got the type of artistry that Tropical Storm. Got it. I'm getting anxiety. You you would agree, Cam, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. From everything I've listened to. It's yeah. Like it. Yeah. Yeah. You so. just you guys don't know. This. <laughs> um. <laughs> next question. Pocket full of posy. What's up, pockets? <laughs> what up, though? Do all of y'all have a song or artist you turn to to lift you up when you feel yourself slipping into a funk? Other than Tropical Storm, we know that's a given. I'm glad you. I'm glad y'all know. Okay. Personally, Masego is my guy. Literally anything by him changes my mood for the better. Particularly girls that dance or prone. Or if I need a ratchet pick me up, dance like a stripper by me. Me, mm-hmm. I hit a quick chair twerk and continue about my day. Don't judge me. No slacks to back this thing. No slacks to back this thing into. So I got to do what I can. That's funny. Any hoots. I'll think of a non-music related question for next week. Cam was super adamant about being in a tip drill <laughs> uh, video. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. Bliss and blessings, fellas. A song, go-to song for pick me up. Like, well, me and Cam were just talking about Nipsey yesterday. Like, that get you. That was getting us motivated when we listen. Yeah, it certain depends things. what type of pick me up. Yeah, if you need motivation, then yeah, I definitely I need to go to Reasonable Doubt or some Nipsey. If I'm just need like to cheer up, then maybe some Bob Marley. Or maybe like some cameo candy, something from the seventies. Bob Marley's a good pull. Something from the seventies. Seventies always definitely. Uplifting. What's wild because I'm biased about it, but like stuff that gets me like just in a good mood is old Southern music, like uh, ATL. You know what I'm saying? Like um, Outcast. Like how old? Like Outcast. Like, like Outcast. Like, well, yeah, maybe maybe not that <laughs> old. Maybe not that old. But like Outcast and shit like that. Right, well, even, right, even right. stuff from our college, it was like it take you back every time I hear, it and I'd be I'd be smiling. I'd be like, man. This, yeah, this. I was trying to think like, cause she said the ratchet song that gets her yeah. in a good mood. I was trying to think, do I have a ratchet song? But oh, like, so, uh, uh, um, uh, um, swag surf. So, so just yeah, puts that a feel, smile on my that feels face good. when I hear it come on. I yeah. don't know why, but that feels good. Uh, and then some other good song. This is a random one. This is like R and B. <laughs> this is old R and B, I guess. But uh, Jill Scott has a song called "Living My Life Like It's Golden." <laughs> Living my life like it's golden. <laughs> if you are in a bad mood, that's a good song. I promise you, put in that song and you just start feeling. It got a nice little beat to it. Mm-hmm. She's singing her heart out, and you feel good. Like it's a very uplifting song. Nineties bad boy too. Like, yeah, can't hold me down. Oh yeah. my Those god, yes, you just yes, yes, dance. yes, yes. Yeah, can't no uh, mm-hmm. Any yeah, Diddy nineties Diddy, he'll lift you up. Yeah. Um, like he said, if you want to hustle, of course, Jay Z. I like and speaking of hustle, I like I'll go back and listen to hustling Rick Ross. That shit when they come on, I you be like you just you feel that shit. Yeah. And then Ross' voice just is crazy. Right. Uh, tricky though. Yo, sup fam? Hope y'all staying blessed and black out here. Shout out to the Blue Chew commercials. They are content on their own and funny as hell. Also, y'all better take Cam's bars. He be rapping. Anyway, quick hypothetical. Let's say each finger each finger on your dominant hand can dispense a condiment on call. However, you're not allowed to use any other condiment for the rest of your life. What are the five condiments each of you would choose? Oh my god! Oh, so I get I get five. Yeah. Oh, five. Okay. but that's that's gonna be pretty easy. Ketchup, though. mayo, uh, mustard, brown mustard, to be specific, 
um, some type of sweet and sour sauce, mm-hmm. and damn, some type of hot sauce. Yeah, good hot sauce. Yeah, <sighs> either a syrup or agave. Mm-hmm. Definitely mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. Definitely barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. Um. See now, now it's tricky. Yeah, that's when. Because <laughs> now when I, guess, I want either like a honey mustard or a sweet and sour sauce or. Uh, you said ketchup already, right? No. Yeah. You didn't say no. ketchup. No. And no. you can make so many sauce. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. No. Just, all right, yeah. I just I'm just uh, seeing where your where your meters at. Um. <laughs> well, I need to make it when I just get it. That's true. Yeah, makes sense. Um, because you can't, you don't have enough fingers to make all the things you can make with just ketchup. Well, the ones they got already. That's what I'm saying. What you trying to make? I just got. I don't, I don't need to make nothing else. What did What did you just get again? Barbecue sauce, um, mayo, um, syrup, or either agave. Yeah, hey, I got ketchup. Have. Don't make that. I'm gonna go either some aioli or chipotle sauce, mm-hmm. and probably a honey mustard. That's yeah. all I need. The rest of my life. Yeah, that's pretty much. Uh, I gotta work on everything I eat. Fucking fruit cup. Fucking fruit cup. <laughs> That's not a sauce. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fruit cup. It's a fruit cup. <laughs> fruit cups are delicious. Man. Yeah, they do be good. Uh, Rains down. Nig tunes. Who has uh, the guide of being? Who has the guide of being thirty out here? I've always downplayed my age because, for one, I don't look thirty. I got the mindset of an old man, and I'm goofy like a child. Mm. So yeah, I feel you. So I went to my grandpa's funeral, as stated last week. We went down to Mississippi. It was nice to say my goodbyes. However, I fucked up this weekend and acted outside of my age, playing basketball with a couple of cousins who are going into college. I wasn't going to play, but we had a two versus two. I got the ball a few times, blah, blah. But when I went up to score it, <laughs> but when I went up to score the paint, my ankle gave out. <laughs> I, I'm laughing because I feel, I feel the nigga. That's why I'm laughing. I pulled a Derrick Rose. Luckily, it's not broken. I just sprained it hella bad. I scored my two points and retired. No one told me I got to stretch them when I'm 30, soon to be 31. I literally had to crawl to make it to the bathroom that night because everyone was sleeping, <laughs> everyone was sleeping on my career-ending injury. Terror bad. So my question is, any of y'all had the manual for being 30-plus, and at what point did your body tell you that you need to act your age? P.S. I need someone to invent a manual sandwich. That's funny. A man, you know, um, that's my greatest fear, man. Like a uh, unnecessary injury. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got time for that. Like if I was to tear my ACL or something playing <laughs> anything out with, here with I'm these be kids upset out here, because it's like it wasn't worth it. And I remember what going through knee surgery was like, so I'm just gonna be like, oh my goodness, I gotta go through this again. Look, but, me and my girl, we took a trip to uh, like her family invited us to Catalina Island. Mm-hmm. You know, that, this is just a small island right off. Of the, like, this was California. months ago, though. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah, last yeah, year, last year. yeah, last year sometimes. So, um, so we go there. You know, everybody's having a good time, first few days or whatever. Like we're chilling. So then one day we go up to we stayed there like three days. So probably the the, the second day we go up to this uh, this this like you know they have like a game forest area where mm-hmm. like you could do obstacles and stuff like that. You you climb in the trees. They attach you to this harness, and they're like wires going across I'll do the trees. That. I'll do mm-hmm. that. And, and shit was fun, but the shit's like fifty feet high in the shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm going, and and once I got used to it, I'm killing this shit. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going through. I'm like, oh yeah, I got to You gotta like balance yourself on like a, a a rope ladder going across this high ass shit. And so I'm kind of like killing it. And we do we we go to like the best course, and and I'm like, okay, so I got me. It's me, my girl, and her mom. And I'm shocked. Her mom is killing it too. She's like, okay, let's go. Mm-hmm. And so I'm feeling the whole time. I'm feeling great. We get to the end of the course. Now, what you got to do by the end of the course, you got to slide one of the ropes, they get like one of these things, go to the other side. Then you got to go down this this kind of uh, like rope that kind of you jump, you jump down with it, mm-hmm. and it kind of gently guides you down to the ground. Okay? So we're at the end now. I get to that part. I jump down. As soon as I'm like, okay, I'm good. I jump down. Boom. I twist my ankle. <laughs> And me, as soon as we at the end of the course, it's nighttime now. It's, it's like it just is starting to get dark now. Yeah. We finish. I'm like, boom. I, I hit my ankle. I'm like, oh, I fall to the ground. <laughs> I'm rolling. My girl's like, baby. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm like, I'm, so, I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. So we, we I get up. 
and we start walking. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> we walking, and, and they talking. And while and you we are walk, in pain. I am in pain. Hell oh, yeah. And I'm talking about the walk from the house we're staying at, the Airbnb yeah. to this place. It was like a mile long, B. <laughs> so I'm walking in pain, and it, it's not getting better. Yeah, it's yeah. like getting worse. Your ankle pulsating. Like, Did I fucking fracture my ankle? <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I compare ankles to cars. Be happy it was spring and not broken. Like, be happy you got the ticket and not towed. Yeah. Nah, bro. It felt like oh, it was broken. Hey, no, nah, you wouldn't like, know if it was broken. I know, I know, I know I would, but, but when we got back to the house, like, I was just trying to play it off. I got to the room. I'm, I jump in the bed. I'm just rolling. Mm. <laughs> just, and, and my girl come knock on the door. Yeah. Baby, you okay? <laughs> and I'm getting mad as fuck. Like, let me know right now. <laughs> and I can't get mad at her. Yeah, just like a family. But the, the, the funny like, thing on, is, like, that thing put some ice on it. <laughs> I did. That's I did it. all that. But my foot, the ankle swelled up like yeah. crazy. I'm like, yeah. Rains down. Basically, listen, there is no manual. All right. <laughs> it's not a manual. You you just know. You feel, like you said, you feel it. You feel it. Like, I, I started feeling it probably around 28. Like, when I really started to feel like, all right, yeah. it's creeping. Like, right, it's right. creeping. But when you hit 30, the first thing that went was, I mean, that, the first thing that came was, they could just be sleepy. Nigga, yeah, yeah, nigga yeah, just be sleepy. You be like, why I'm sleepy? I'm sleepy. <laughs> My first thing that came was stomach issues. Stomach shit? Yeah, like I couldn't eat. Uh, like cheese oh, yeah, oh, affecting yeah. me differently. Yeah, Once yeah. I hit actually the 25 mark. Yeah, Post 25, body starts changing again. Yeah. And you're like, hold on, they, they ain't teach about this in school. Yeah, yeah. I drank, <laughs> like, what's going I drank, on? I drank some uh, red wine on Sunday. Yeah. I, I had a hangover the next day. I said, "When I, when I, I ain't never a hangover said, from wine." I said, "That's I, crazy." Well, how can I hang? How I much up, did you drink? No, it, it wasn't like a bad, but I just felt a little fog. I was like, "From a glass or a no?" no I mean, I, I had like two, three glasses for sure. Yeah. But still, it's, I've never gotten a like that. I was like, so "Damn, body changing again." Is, is that why we didn't go jogging? No, uh, <laughs> I just didn't jog. My knee was my knee. I've been told can't my knee. <laughs> Niggas falling apart. <laughs> but all right, a couple more. Jesus. What a do, DT? I'm coming in with an update from last week. So that same day after the questions, I found someone to vent to, and what I thought would be a 30-minute convo ended up being a two-hour therapy session. Nice. I got everything off my chest, and by the end, I instantly felt way better. But there was one more thing I had to do. So I hopped in the shower, got the eucalyptus, and waited for that drop on In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Perfect. <laughs> my favorite song. After That's this, great. I decided why not ride my bike on the days I'm off. It's good exercise and helps me there clear my mind. So for the next three days, I was out here looking like a manual pre-license until until Sunday came around. <laughs> I was headed home trying to beat the rain. And while trying to get on the sidewalk, I busted my ass. But what had happened was my tire collided with the curb, and I flew off the bike, scraping my knee, elbow, shoulder, and cheek, and ear all on the right side. Yeah, damn. Luckily, mm. it was only scrapes, no broken bones, but I bruised my ribs a bit when I fell. Mm. I got up breathing like the tiny alien on Men in Black. <laughs> Now you was like mm. the girl in the Red Man video. Oh, was, <laughs> I got up breathing like the uh, tiny alien men in black, and my damn knee was out here looking medium rare when I walked home leaking everywhere. Mm. Which brings me to my question. What has been the worst fall you've ever had or for a manual, the worst wipeout? First fall I had, I mean, worst fall I had was when I first did no hands on my bike in Panama down a hill. It was bad. Mm. Oh, it, it was bad. How far, like... I'm coming down the hill. I said, oh, this is my first time. I was like, oh, because no hands look so easy. All the kids in the neighborhood were doing it. I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. Not knowing that you still had to control the bike. Right, right. I let go. Boom. Bike bike flipped over me. Boom. Hit me. Boom. Roll. Boom. Mm. I was I was mm. I was cut up for two three weeks. No, you were crying. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I was screaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, that Homer scream. <laughs> like I I, I fell a cup plenty of times off my bike, but I never got seriously seriously. Yeah. Hurt. So like the only time like one time I think of is usually like when I'm doing hands free. Mm. Like when you start getting arrogant on a bike and you start getting on <laughs> your humble phone you real while quick. you're riding or something and you trying to or, or using one hand to, on your phone and the other hand on the bike. And then that's when I just remember <laughs> I was like, oh man, I, I know I put my phone in my pocket. I try to do this. I went flying basically. <laughs> that's that's that. The bike flew, everything flew. Uh, went, went home limping, tires popped, everything. Oh, hitting a uh, hitting a goddamn uh, uh what's it called? Uh, the holes, potholes. Oh, the pothole. A oh, pothole, yeah, yeah. like a pothole that just comes out of nowhere too. Like you going uphill, you can't see it good. Like that shit will fuck you up. I remember I seen my cousin break her ankle, and that shit mm -hmm. did not look good. Mm -hmm. I was out there with her. She was 
She was riding, mm-hmm. rolling. Mm-mm. She turned. Mm-mm. That bike said, "Foot." That ankle got caught in the middle. Bop. Mm-hmm. Oh, my ankle. I was like, mm-hmm. fuck. I, like I ran to my grandma. I was like, grandma. I was yeah. like, shit. Yeah, I remember a kid <laughs> fell off a bike in my neighborhood, and his uh, his leg got caught in the wheel. Why, why are we talking about that? And then his, we, that was the first time I saw bone. Oh, I shit. Saw oh, I remember no. all the kids came there. They were like, you can see the, you can see the white. Oh, oh the shit. Stop. Shit. He Next question. <laughs> hey, Zeus, we glad you're all right, brother. <laughs> Kurt McGirt, yo, what up, what up, fellas? So I feel like we're all close enough. We family. Mm-hmm. So let's take it back. When my parents got married, I was about 10 or 11. Didn't know much of my whole family, but everybody and their damn mama showed up. The small local church was so packed, people were standing up. Anyways, before the wedding starts, I'm running around being a kid. I see this cute, pretty girl, and I damn, and I damn near trip. Like, I'm infatuated at a young age. I go over to her, we talk, and then here come one of the aunts talking about, I see you met your cousin. Mm -hmm. I damn near cried. (laughs) Anyways, you ever been out and slightly timid to talk to a woman because the fear she just might be some kin to you? (laughs) LOL. (laughs) Stay safe. Stay blessed. Fuck stress. P.S. Got another versus for y'all. Tony, Tony, Tone versus Men Condition. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. I don't. <sighs> I'm a. I love Tony Tony Tone. Yeah, I'm, a, yeah. I'm gonna have to ride with them. Yeah, that's that's I probably had to take Tony Tony Tone as well. Anniversary by itself feels good. Feels good. It feels good. Yeah, yeah. So much. it's probably the only two I know to be honest. Yeah, with, but. I think once you start hearing stuff though, that's yeah, 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 probably. But um, I've probably been out and thought somebody was kidding me. No, I don't think about that. Yeah, no. I'm not. Yeah, you've been scarred, man. Yeah, you. I, I, <laughs> that's I, only if that's all your family lived in one area yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Then you got to worry about that. But my. My family spread. Yeah. The one wild thing that happened to me, I was in Greensboro. We this is probably I just took us. We had left for summer or whatever from college. I came back home. I went to Greensboro. Me and my homie, we was just out chilling. Went to this little club bar. I'm dancing with this girl. We vibing for like the whole night. And I finally was like, "Yo, what's your name?" She was like, "Stevie." I said, "I said, how you know my name?" She was like, "No, what?" I said, "How you, how you know my name?" She was like, "I don't know your name." I said, you just said Stevie. She was like, yeah, that's my name. I said, that's my name. She was like, oh, that shit was mad random. Yeah. Stevie. I think she's still on my Facebook. Let me go, let me go holler That'd at That'd be weird. Is it weird to be in a relationship with, with someone with the same Stevie? name? Stevie? Yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of. And the question is, are they, do they, what if they, you get married? Y'all have the same first and last name? Stevie Green. Dog. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Wow. How did she yeah. spell it? Did she spell like, it the same? Nah, she, uh. I think she has some some different about it, but oh, that is kind of wild. Accent mark on Stevie, it, Stevie and Stevie but Green. But they say meet Mister and Mrs. Is Stevie it, Green. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. That's, right, that's like, wild. That's, that's great. Um, DB shout us, Wagwan DT fam, Wagwan. free, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. I'm single again. <laughs> had to get that out, man. My relationship is over. I kid you not. It felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders last week. People this over here fighting going through. for black rights. This thing is saying <laughs> free at last. Free at last. Relationship. <laughs> uh, my question is, have y'all ever broke up, a long, broke up a long relationship and felt good afterwards? Like you surprised by how the stress was zapped away from you? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. When you think back to your fights about literally nothing that blew up to something worse and you notice the pattern of it and you get tired of arguing and the love you had before ain't there no more. Also random, but a new Crash Bandicoot is coming in October. <laughs> I saw the trailer. Are y'all excited for the stress of them game levels where you have t- 28 lives and next thing you know you at two and barely halfway? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to love that game. He said, "Next thing you know, you were two and barely halfway and beating that one damn level." LOL. <laughs> Pieces. Th- that shit just brought back me. I used to be so pissed off at them games. You be like, oh "What the God. fuck?" Well, you just run uh, and duck uh, and <laughs> jump and. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, but that's what what happens is once you break up with somebody, you. But then if you you got to self assess, be like, "All right, it couldn't have all been her." I know I played some type of part in this, whether I didn't communicate well or she just wasn't under you know understand understanding where i'm coming from especially when you're young you be like right, we was just arguing for no i know we was just arguing over some bullshit but yeah. he said once the love gone yeah once yeah once the love gone, it's, yeah yeah, that's, that's yeah it, it took a while for me to understand like to really look back and look at myself yeah. to understand that it was all her fault yeah yeah for sure that's what i was gonna say at the end of it <laughs> <laughs> but and, and also people gotta realize like i would be in camp with all the other day like you you can fall out. You can fall out of love. So you can fall. Your feelings can shift. Like, but yeah. people make it seem like you. Once you like me, you like me forever. 
Yeah, nah, that's, that's not. <laughs> We're doing, I, I the only thing. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say after watching that show I talked about on the last podcast yeah. that uh, marriage, uh, marriage at first sight or married at first sight, yeah. like that. Like there was a girl on there that was a virgin that her ideals of what being in a relationship yeah. was and like she kept talking about how like I'm gonna give this gift to him and I'm like, like it's just very weird, strange how some people and you can. You know, she she had expectations of this is how it goes. Oh. This this is how uh, love is supposed to be. Yeah. This is how you know uh, my romantic relationship is supposed to be. And it was like a little girl, like thinking, oh, yeah, watching yeah. princess movies or something. Only hey. unconditional love is dogs. Yep. They're yeah. The only one. Yep. And if they hungry enough, they'll turn on you too. Yeah, they eat you too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> three more. Justin added, "What's good, my brothers? Hope y'all doing good and staying safe out here, man." Before I get to my question, the other day I was listening to a podcast, and it was probably about four or five brothers talking about what it's like being a black man in today's world. Excuse me. And some of them was mentioning the anxiety that we tend to carry with us throughout our daily lives, just with everything that's going on for all these years and few other negative points that's kind of the reality for us. But what I loved hearing, though, was one of them transitioned into talking about all the great qualities about us black men and black people overall and things we excel in, such as sports, business, and entertainment, and so many other fields. At the end of the day, I'm extremely happy with the way God made me and everything that black folks have done for us throughout history and currently. Props to y'all for being black comedians, entertainers for over a decade now. A decade. Y'all realize that? Shit is crazy. Y'all killing it for real. But my bad. I got off on a tangent. The question I did have was for Cam. I seen you posted the books you've read so far this year, and those are the exact kinds of books I'm looking to get into. How would you personally rank those books and why? Um, Let me pull them up. And first and foremost, yes, black people are incredible. We do everything incredible. Um, first book, 5 a.m. Club, off top. Off top. Best book. What's that about? I mean, um, that's the one we said. That's the one we begin. Owning your morning and elevating your life. Get okay, up, okay, yeah. okay. Um, after that, I would say breaking the habit of being yourself, which is really good. It's like, good. It's almost like unlearning everything you learn, mm-hmm. basically. Um, after that, Powernomics was really good. It's about, you know, the economic plan to empower black America. After that, niggas to gods. You got to be in the right mental space. At the beginning, like, ain't no whole, it ain't no, like, he's Hold blunt back. as fuck. Like, he don't care. But then at the end, you, he started making more sense. After that, Stillness is Key, which is by Ryan Holiday. And that's, you know, how to, you know, be still and be at peace. That one. And then, um, damn, it's a book. Now that I think about it, I left out a book. My bad. I left out one book. Um, but that would be ranked last anyway. Then it was a Zen of Creativity. Nice. Mm-hmm. So that's where I'll rank them. Y'all got to read, man. Reading is, reading read. is key out here. Yeah, it was only one book I read this year. That's why I didn't like. And I left it out. That's probably why I left it out. Yeah. Why didn't you like it? What book it was just it? wasn't. It was my expectations. <laughs> it yeah. wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. Is um, what's his name? Seven spiritual laws of success. Um, Deepak. Oh, Deepak. Chopra. Yeah, his. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Mm. It was a little more too sciencey for me gotcha. than what I wanted. Gotcha. And I like science, but it just that one wasn't for me. Gotcha. Um, I was about to say something and I'm over booking for good. All right, Kayla. Hey, y'all. To start off, I want to say I saw Roman Cam on the Try Guys Eat the Menu, and y'all are funny. You could tell a couple of the jokes caught Keith off guard, but the whole vibe was y'all. Whole vibe with y'all was top tier. Also, Dunkin's Bagels, also top tier. Mm-hmm. They, they regular. They regular. Uh, my question for y'all is, <laughs> if you worked in retail, do you have any horror stories? I work at a coffee shop. I'm not going to name <laughs> name it, but it's a well-known coffee shop. I do have a second job as a first responder, and the only reason I work at this coffee shop is because they are paying for school, and I have to remind myself that every time I contemplate quitting, LOL. Mm. Anyways, our lobby is currently closed for seating, so this one white lady came in and sat on the floor in solidarity, in in quotations. I was like, ma'am, you got to leave. She said, if you touch me, I'll sue. So I called the police. She tried to spit on me, called me a nigger with a hard R, and pulled my coworker's hair as the police were dragging her out of the store. At one point, <clears throat> this white demon started hyperventilating and passed out for like a minute, and my manager had the audacity to ask me if I could assist her. Do I know CPR? Of course. 
Would I have done CPR on her? Probably not. <laughs> I know the hippo uh, the Hippocratic oath and all, but that went out the window when she called me a nigger. So, more of the story. I can't wait until I graduate. Sorry about the long winded story. This happened yesterday, and of course. This corporate ass company is gonna bury it in paperwork, so I needed to get it off my chest. Anyway, I hope you all are doing swell. Two things: if you recorded it, send it to Karen's Going Wild yeah. on IG. Yeah. Two, whoever was got their hair pulled, I would have took that opportunity to get some licks in. Oh yeah, now self defense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she got she could have got tagged a few times. Did she say she spit too? Yeah, mm-hmm. she spit on her. Yeah. Oh no. no. Yeah, yeah. That that that, that, that no, shit no, there. No, no, no. No, I thought she said she spit at her. Not uh, on her. Let me see. That's a different. You know, someone could spit on no, the. No, she no, said no. she tried. She what? tried to spit on me. Oh, okay. no, Called no, me a no, nigger no, with a hard. No, she tried no, to spit. No, 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 that's one. That's some disrespectful shit that mm-hmm. you will get swung on for. Hey, God bless you. Yes. Stay strong. Thank you for out being there. the first responder as well. Thank you for being the first responder. <clears throat> thank you for. Thank you for just doing you going to school trying to trying to get your money right. All that. Keep doing that. Don't let that that bitch get you down, and uh, yeah, that, that's that is fucking. That's fucking wild. That fucking. Then your man's gonna say for some you, coffee. That for some dirty coffee. Bitch. You don't get arrested for some coffee. That dirty, <laughs> dirty bitch. Uh, bitch. Next question from this episode is about what up, fellas? I'm new to your content. Somehow I did. I somehow I did know. <laughs> <laughs> somehow oh, somehow I didn't know you guys existed for about 10 years but I found your content have really been enjoying it I was hoping to freeload and watch all your old content and enjoy the new stuff you may have seen me in the comments as Derek but I had a thought that I need to get out there and my podcast is way too small to make it happen so here it is Karen has basically become a user's name for the next few years if anyone having a kid um, user name for the next few years if anyone having a kid but it made me think white entitled men have been dodging the term dodging a term to lump them all into one group now i know that general generalizations aren't great but right now fuck all that i've done some i've done some work on this and got some input from others and i've landed on brody or brodies as the term for entitled ass white dudes side note i hope you guys are working on a real nigga university sketch it's got some major potential <laughs> that's funny real nigga university <laughs> i forgot we said that um yeah i can see brodies being I thought it was Kevin. But Kevin, I know some black Kevin. Kev on stage is, is a good guy. I know a black Karen. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know if it could be mm-hmm. that. But but Karen just fits. It just, it, for some reason, it fits those white. I don't know if Kevin fits all the we white know, guys. We uh, know uh well, mixed, uh, uh, biracial Brody. We do know a biracial Brody. <laughs> biracial Brody sound like a radio show. <laughs> Welcome back Brody. to Biracial Brody. Brody, I hope you hear this. <laughs> mm, <that's funny>. Biracial. <laughs> At least bro- I think he's biracial. Uh, he might. I, I think. Sound like Brody, I ain't gonna lie. You ambiguous, brother. He I, I, ambiguous. <laughs> his podcast is about surfing and basketball. <laughs> <laughs> While he wearing his Birkenstock. bro- uh, <laughs> Birkenstocks. Not the Brody we know, but yeah. the general. General, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think Brody's a good one. Man. Brody's That's solid. A, hey, Brody. But they don't sound like a grown man, and most of them people be grown-ass old men. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, Brody's not it's not the like Karen sound old. Yeah. It's like usually. So what what, what about young. Ted? I'd Ted's. rather go with Ted than Ted's. but Ted's Karen's and Ted's <laughs> Karen's and Ted's Terrible Ted's Ted's sound like they have like that one mustache uh, Yeah like, like a like they look like enough. Stephen Colbert Yeah uh, kind of yeah, yeah but just Stephen like, Colbert uh, last question um I f- f- fam wait from Bruce Rain fam big arm little arm energy Wait, <laughs> Bruce be funny. Now. What? <laughs> Big that. arm, little arm energy. Been ducked off on OnlyFans Twitter for free ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. that's hilarious. Uh, been ducked off on OnlyFans Twitter for free ninety nine. You understand? Oh, this nigga ain't got a question. He just told us that. I know that he was making the, a statement. This nigga said, big arm, little arm energy been ducked off on OnlyFans Twitter for free 99. Bruce funny, you understand. Hey, Bruce, you funny, dog. Bruce funny. Come funny. through, Bruce. Come through, Bruce. Uh, they said, big arm, little arm energy. Jacking off. It's jacking tweets. off. All right, man. Uh, thank you guys again, man. We super appreciate these questions. They are hilarious every time. We're getting more and more. Yeah, getting more We're going to have to figure out a different format soon. 
Yeah, we gonna say fuck y'all soon. <laughs> no, no, like uh, no, maybe a different way to address it because yeah. I know one thing Cam's been bringing up is that we do more how we did the last video. I wasn't there for it, but the when you talked about just the one subject matter uh, that came up with what was it? Oh, oh, it was um Joe Rogan. Yeah, like Joe Rogan get the money, like those individual topics. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That we want to drop more during the week, mm-hmm. uh, just to give y'all some more content, and maybe we could come up like we have Couch Chronicles for that. For this, maybe we could do something for that. But yeah, just uh, trying to keep y'all in the loop. Type of thing. Couldn't resist the joke, uh, but I let it go. You let it go? Yeah. Let just, it go. just throw it out there. What was it? I'll say we do. It's called comedy tripods. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You should have let it go. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Couch Chronicles, and we'll see you next week. Peace.